Hello, Paul Robinson from BritishCraftCanada.com. Okay, just had a delivery in of the Bravo 1.5, so I thought I'd do a quick video. I have done a video on these before, but they have changed the sheaths, and so I thought I'd just uh, do a quick video on the knife again and show the new sheath. And uh, always nice to have a delivery of Bravos in. Excellent knives. Of course, this is one of the better, larger uh, outdoor survival knives you can uh, you can get really it's got all those you know like I say excellent design features of the Bravo that nice long 5.8 inch blade so if you like a larger knife and you like the Bravos this is definitely worth a look this is um, burgundy actually burgundy Mercator with the uh, orange liners this is the ramp version they do come rampless as well of course that lovely Bravo handle there's a superb grip but it makes a very elegant knife still, even despite the uh, longer blade, you know, it still feels uh, very well balanced. Obviously it's a little bit blade or tip heavy, but uh, you know, really superb choice for a larger knife. Beautiful convex grind you can see there. About 10 and 3 quarter inches overall length and uh, like I say 5.8 inch blade. Um, lots of strength in this knife of course. You can see the stock thickness there, 0.217 an inch. It's 5.5 mil, so you know, plenty strong enough. But very nice knife here, the mosaic pins, the lanyard hole. Um, like I say, excellent choice. Um, this is using the uh, classic, bar, you know, Bark River Steel, the A2. Still an excellent choice of steel, you know, still a good, tough steel, easy to sharpen in the field, good edge holding, 59 HRC. It's still a good choice, that's why they still make it. Um, you know, so all round, this is a, this is a very, very capable quality larger knife. So the sheath it does come with is the um, pouch style sheath, it seems to be the default sheath at the moment. But you can see nice thick leather, very well made these. You can belt mount it several different ways and you know, very sturdy sheath indeed. I'll just quickly show you actually, just as a comparison, <coughs> uh, the 1.5 to a standard Bravo one. This is a, I think this is coffee bag actually. So you can just see some idea of the blade length there. It's difficult to get the knives in completely, but you can see the size difference between the two. So there you are. Superb, larger, bushcraft survival knife from Park River. Uh, always worth a look at Bravo if you haven't got one. And if you do have one, you know, it's sometimes uh, worth looking at the uh, different variations they have. But they're all good, to be honest, they're all very good. So you can see them on our site, bushcraftcanada.com. Just have a look under Bark River Bravo 1.5. Or as always, if you need more information, you can just give me an email, paul at bushcraftcanada.com.